All right, Shalom. I'm we'll start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Harakak Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. The house of David. Matter of fact, those that will receive salvation, the elect. Okay? And, and, and for all you brothers and sisters out there giving y'all life with all diligence, man. Keep keep up, keep the faith, man. All right? We're getting closer and closer to prophecy being fulfilled. Here's another prophecy being fulfilled. Uh, this is from sciencealert.com, okay? And it says, uh, as you see, blood moon, right? And usually a blood moon will occur when these uh, eclipses come through here, all right? It says... We're about to experience the longest lunar eclipse in this century. Jeremy Burke from the Business Insider. He wrote it June the 26th. Yeah, I was sitting on it a couple of days. So like you. Anyway, um, yesterday. Anyway, it says, July is shaping up to be an excellent month for astronomy fans. Overnight on July the 27th and 28th, the sky watchers in the Eastern Hemisphere will be treated to the longest lunar eclipse set to occur in the 21st century, Earth Sky reports. Okay, it says astronomers expect the total eclipse to last for a full hour and 43 minutes. That's one minute short of an hour and 44 minutes, right? Which we know that that's a spiritual number, 144, all right? It's probably 143, and they probably round it down, right? <laughs> Anyway, it says, uh, with the partial eclipse, which occurs before and after the total eclipse phase, lasting three hours and 55 minutes. Okay, a nearly a four-hour eclipse with over an hour and 40-minute uh, total eclipse in the Eastern Hemisphere. Okay, that's not us over here, but we had ours cut across the United States. But, I mean, this is huge. This is huge, people. I don't know if you, you truly understand what's going on, what these signs are, but this is huge. I'm going to just keep reading, then I'm going to bring out why it's so huge. It says, the lunar eclipse occurs when the sun and earth and moon are directly aligned, and the moon's orbit brings it directly into earth's shadow. Okay? It says... This particular eclipse will last so long because the moon will pass directly into the dark, darkest region of the Earth's shadow, known as the umbra, right? Which will also give the moon a reddish blood moon sheen. Got to go to the scripture right there. I'm going to go with the book of Joel. Let's go to Joel right quick. Bear with me one second. Joel, the second chapter. This is Joel. Let me see if I should start up. Matter of fact, I'm going to start up a little bit. Um, let me see. Yeah. I'm going to start with 28 just to read the little little bit of it. Because this is important, man. Uh, Jake, Jake is now having these dreams and these visions and images. I know because I have them. Brothers and they women have them. You know? Random people having them. Carrie Hilson had had one. I think Beyonce might have had one, something like that. I know for sure Carrie Hilson had one. But people have been having these, these prophetic dreams, okay? And it's directly related to what the scriptures is talking about. Bear with me. Take that off. Okay. So I'm gonna read the prophecy. It says, "Uh, this is um, Joel, chapter two, verse." 28. Matter of fact, look what the heading in my source says. It says, last, last events before the terrible day of the Lord. These are the last events before the terrible day of the Lord. It says, verse 28, it says, it says, uh, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions 
Okay, and that's been going on. And, and the point I want to make about it is that's been going on in these times, okay? The thing about it is you guys say, oh, people had dreams before, or oh, there was an eclipse comes around every so many hundred years or, you know, decades or whatever you may want to say. But when has there ever been all of these events tied into one, okay, into one one time period? Okay, in the past decade, since like 2010, really, if you want to go back to 10 years, you know, when the apostles came on the scene and uh, on YouTube, there's been so much, but there, but it's just continuing. In this small amount of time, the past 10 years, there's been so much prophecy being fulfilled. And over the past couple of years, it, uh, they've been saying that directly. We coined it uh, this year, the year of prophecy. Okay, but over the past couple of years, it's just been, man, eh, you got you guys better wake up. It says, uh, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Verse 30, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Now, is there not pillars of smoke going around the world right now with all these volcanoes? Whether it be Hawaii, Japan, uh, I think it's Honduras has the other one, right? It says, uh, "And the sun shall be turned into darkness." We had the lunar, we had the solar eclipse just last year, and the moon into blood with this lunar eclipse. And there's been other small lunar eclipses also. Okay. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Yahweh come. Well, it's Yahweh Shai, in the name of Yahweh. Yeah. It says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, shall be delivered. For in the Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. It didn't say for in all whosoever of the world. It didn't say that. Even though when you go to John 3.16... The word for world right there was cosmos, but, but but it coincides with this as cosmos, as Zion and Jerusalem. Talking about a certain people. Okay, talking about the Israelites. All right. It says, shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Okay, and the, his elect, the elect of Israel. Okay, no one else. There's no elect of the world, just an elect of Israel that will be saved. Okay. Now let me jump over to the book of Acts. I think they quote this scripture again in Acts the second chapter. Just to drive it home. Acts chapter 2. Um, yep. Matter of fact, I'm going to start up. Yeah, it's a quote, direct quote from that scripture. But it's beautiful because it's going to say the same thing. Uh, I'm going to jump straight to the point in verse 19. Uh... And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Like I said, those were those uh, pillars of smoke, which were the, uh, the, 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 the fires, the brush fires, as well as, you know, that happens in certain parts of the, of the country, especially uh, Southern California. But uh, especially these volcanoes going off as well. All of this counts. It says... Uh, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai come. Okay, so, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which the Most High God did by him in the midst of you as you yourselves also know so that that kills john 3 16 being for everybody that's why when you got to go into the greek of john 3 16 it, it says cosmos there for the word world and not oikomene okay it's a quick one for you now i'm gonna go back and read um i'm gonna go back and read a little bit more of this article it says uh July's full moon will happen at the same time as the moon's apogee. 
or G, I don't know how, how they will pronounce it, but it says, which is the the moon is when the moon hits its furthest point from the come on now. When the moon hits the furthest point from Earth in its monthly orbit, according to the Earth sky. Right? This is the, 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 the people at Earth sky. It says, it will be the smallest and furthest full moon of the year, which means the moon will take more time to pass through the Earth's darkest shadow, making the eclipse last longer. So the longest possible lunar eclipse is, is one hour and 47 minutes, according to Earth sky. Here's when to catch it. Times in UTC, which is a... Uh, uh, I mean, I guess I could look that up, but it's in the Eastern Hemisphere. I believe it's going to pass over. Uh, maybe I'll go into it in a minute, but let me see. Uh, matter of fact, let me do it right quick. Okay, when I looked up uh, UTC, it was a universal time uh, zone uh, co coordinate or whatever, something like that, which means it's the universal time of the, of the entire Earth. Then you, then you transfer it into specific time zones. But here I brought up, more importantly, the uh, Eastern uh, Hemisphere. So all this dark area is the Eastern Hemisphere, okay? So that's who's going to get this eclipse for an hour and a half. And didn't the scripture say that he would come from the East? Didn't it say he would come from the East? So east is a is a that's the old world, so to speak, over there. You know, that's a sign unto them. What's going on? Okay, but though it's a sign unto the whole entire world. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go back into the. It says uh, six twenty four p.m. UTC. Of course, it says the pre prenumbra eclipse begins, meaning the first. Uh, partial eclipse begins and uh, penumbral eclipse begins when the earth's penumbra uh, starts to touch the moon at 624 730 the total eclipse can be seen when the moon is fully red at 730 exactly okay at uh, 822 maximum eclipse at 9.13, total eclipse ends, okay? So from from uh, 6.24 to 9.13 is how long this is going to last, okay? So just a, few, just a few days after the lunar eclipse, Mars will pass by Earth at its closest point to us since 2003. Another something. This, this, all of these can't be ignored, all of these uh, visions in the sky can't be ignored, okay? He said he would do that. It says, uh, matter of fact, let me just get the script on it real quick. Uh, let's go right into Genesis, I believe. Let me see. Um, yeah, um. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, it says, And the Most High God, or the Allah Hayim, there wasn't the Most High right there, and the Allah Hayim said, which Allah Hayim is powers, which was Yahweh Shah and the elect, okay, when they were spirits creating the blueprints from the Most High of the earth and every, everything in it, okay? It says, And the, and the Allah Hayim said, let there, and they, some people say Allah Hayim is the Elohim, but that's another way to say Allah Hayim, okay? powers plural it says and Allah and the Allah said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years okay so yes that's a calendar but it's also a, a calendar to let you know what time it is and what time is it it's time for the Lord to return back to the earth okay that's what time it is so you Edomites should be shaking in your boots, man. Like right now, you should be truly scared, and you really should have should have laid down all your 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 hate and whatever else you got for the Israelites. But we know that's not in your spirit, and we know that's not what the Most High God programmed you to be to do. 
He said that you will come down with great wrath in this time because you know you have but a short time left. And you see the prophets on the street prophesying your, your end and your downfall. You see uh, the uproars of the people. Matter of fact, I'm going to just get that. Let me just get that right quick. Um, Matthew chapter 24 uh, verse, I'm going to start with verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What, what, what's the major war that you're hearing of? Civil war, class war, race wars, martial law. But the, the number one thing is World War Three. Okay? That is actually has begun already over there in the Middle East. Okay? World War Three was Syria, Russia's waiting to jump in, America's considering jumping in. Iran, okay, China, North Korea, all these countries are, are, are waiting to jump into this fight, okay, Israel over there, those, those uh, Israelis over there, that's, those gutter rats, those, those Amalekites, which are a sect of Edomites uh, that's in our land over there, calling themselves the Israelites, they're waiting to jump in too, and everybody's going to jump in, and the Lord's going to divide everybody up right then. He's going to save his elect out of the, the nation of Israel, you so-called Latinos, Negroes, and uh, Native Americans, okay? Anyway, it says, uh, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, right? And there shall be famines and pestilences. And isn't there famine down in, the, in South America right now? In there pestilence is going on, okay? But it's gonna get the pestilence is gonna, these these events are gonna be so big you can't ignore them, okay? It says uh, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows, okay? So let me jump up, and I'm gonna jump straight to the twenty seventh verse. It says, "For as the lightning cometh out of the east." And shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. We're talking about the sun, right? Shines that way, so the same will be the, the route that the Son of, son of Man, Yahweh Shai, comes, who, who you annually call Jesus Christ. It said, For who, so for, excuse me, so for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. Okay? The moon shall not give her light. That's talking about these eclipses. That's a lunar eclipse. The sun be darkened. Last year, we we, 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 we showed you the prophecy on, on the solar eclipse that crossed right through America. Okay? Continuing on, it says, uh, I'm going to read that again. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And it's going to get worse to, to truly fulfill this, okay? So, and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Okay? And, that, and that's what's going to happen. That's what's happening and that's what's going to happen. All right? Um... Matter of fact, since we're in the spirit of, of uh, chariots, I'll keep reading. Because there have been a lot of chariot sightings going on, too. And that's our uh, vehicles of deliverance that Yahweh Shai is going to return in and, 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 and beam up his elect out of. Okay? It says, and, when, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, of heaven with power and great glory. They're going to come in those chariots, man. Those so-called UFOs, okay? Said, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds all across the earth. It says, from one end of heaven to the other. All right? And we're waiting on that. All right, so I got to get a couple more scripts right quick. I got to go on to second address right quick because well, let me read a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit more. It says, uh, I'm going to read up again. It says, on July 31st, the red planet, which is Mars, will be only 35.8 million miles 
away from Earth, making it clearly visible to the naked eye. So we'll be able to see Mars. It'll be at its closest point, okay? You can't ignore all these signs. You'd be a fool to ignore all these signs. So stargazers in the Eastern Hemisphere will easily be able to see both Mars and the Blood Moon on July 28th and 29th. You'll be easily able to see all of those. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to the image and pull a few more scripts. Okay. Uh, second address. Uh, straight to the point. Second address, chapter 9. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, we have been told in ancient times about this when the book was written, and we're prophesying about the future times in this time now. Okay? They prophesied about this time now and on, on multiple levels at that time, but, but more so in this time. This is clearly, Ezra was talking about this time now, foremost. Okay? At this time now, all of this is going to come to pass. That's why this book still stands the test of time. That's why these prophecies still come to pass. And these blood moons and, and seeing the, the Mars and all of that and these solar and lunar eclipses and earthquakes and volcanoes, all of these things are prophecy that, that the Lord is about to return back to the earth. That's how you know what time it is. Then shall thou understand that it is this very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. How will he visit the world? The Most High will visit the world through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? By sending him back to the earth. His representative. His number one representative. All right? He has a spokesman down here already speaking the word on the streets. Directly from the mouth of the Most High God through his son. Okay? Which is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Uh, Bashim Harakakudash. Okay? For the Hebrew, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the earth, they still marching with Black Lives Matter over people getting shot. They're 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 marching all across the world for all types of injustices, okay? They just uproar in the earth right now. Alright? It says, for like matter of fact, let me start up before. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yep. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And this has now been made manifest. Everything that began way back in the, in the beginning, from the garden uh, all the way up till now, from the creation of the earth all the way until now, that's why the heavens are showing certain signs with the moon and the sun that's why uh, uh adam and eve and the serpent the, the 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 exchange that they had is starting to play out the the dividends that 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 uh the serpent which is the spirit of esau and, and eve you know has played out all the way until now all oh, that's coming to full fruition now everything that was set up back then it's coming to full full fruition now. Okay? It says, um, Yep, it said, Even so the times of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works, the ending in effects and signs. And these are some of those effects and signs that you're seeing. Okay? I got one more script. And it's one of my favorites. And it's simply one of my favorites because it's like a rhetorical question. Okay? And it's one of those rhetorical questions that you got to go, uh, people get dumbfounded with. Okay, this is Luke chapter twelve. Um, start at verse fifty-four. It says, "And he said unto the people, this is Yahweh Shai in red letter speaking directly to the people. It says, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, there cometh a shower, and so it is." And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites can discern the face of the sky and of the earth. Right? You can you can you see when these eclipses and blood moons and, and all of this stuff happen. Right? You see you can tell when, when, when the weather changes and weather patterns. 
which is a uh, meteorology. You can see all of that, right? But how is it that ye do not discern this time? How is it that you do not recognize that this is the time of the prophecies that that were spoken before thee? That this is that that this is another sign that, that the Lord is coming back to the earth. That you need to fix whatever inconsistencies in righteousness that you have with the Lord in this time. Okay, if you're an Israelite, every all the other heathen, man, you gonna get you gonna get destroyed or, or thrown into um, into slavery, man. After this, okay, that you can do. But I'm talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and confusion of faces that have spirits of Israelites, okay? That, that their father line goes back to the Israelites, but you may look like a different nation. You people are the ones that are supposed to get yourselves together in this time, all right? And, and when, I, when I say get together, I mean follow the statute of laws and commandments, pray fast, have faith in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, okay? That is their true names and call upon their name. All right? And do the things that the Bible tells you. To go out and teach and bring in the flock. What's the flock? The 144,000 and one third. The elect that will get salvation. The two thirds, there's no saving them. Okay? And that's just what it is. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It says, Yea, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right <laughs> you know you know that that the spirit is on you to get right in this time and there's men out there correcting you showing you to get right but you want to follow the trends of the earth because right now you're not taking it seriously that the lord's gonna come back you just think oh this is just something going on all this internet coverage on everything but you act like this is just nothing special going on in these times well you're gonna see how special these times truly are the Lord is not playing. He's rolling the red carpet out before he shows up. It's going to be a lot of killing, a lot of death. Okay? A lot of natural disasters. Okay? A economic collapse. You see the things Trump is doing. Snap, uh, you know, said he's going to give back children, whatever. Yeah, right. But his, but his, but his uh, cabinet is talking about we're just following the law and they're enforcing the law on this particular law. Yep, Tommy. Trying to get up out there. Okay, so anyway, with that, I'm going to close out giving all praise and glory to the Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, Harakah Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles at Great Millstone who rule well, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.